Now, is this thing on? I think it's on anyway. Uh, so, so here's the thing, right? Uh, Tom couldn't be here for the video today. Uh, I'm kind of filling in for him. Uh, I'm Tony, his identical twin cousin from New York, out here for a visit, you know. Uh, and in case you're wondering how cousins can be identical twins, well, you're just going to have to figure that out for yourself, right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Being from New York, I tend to swear a lot, so and he pr made me promise not to uh, swear so much in the video, so I'm going to give it a shot. Uh, give it a shot. But then again, he ain't here to stop me, so f him, right? Enjoy the video. Hey, greetings, one and all. Welcome to Tony's Hit Parade. Yeah, it ain't Tom's Hit Parade today. It's Tony's. It's all about the Tony. So anyway, yeah, uh, today's video is going to be about uh, he and I went out the other day uh, to uh, another thrift store haul, you know, went around to a bunch of thrift stores and stuff around town, and uh, we hit three of them. Yeah, three, all three of them. Well, I, actually, there's six of them, but we just hit three, okay? Anyway, uh, yeah, picked up a bunch of stuff uh, that I'm going to show you. And yeah, I tell you, I thought that uh, I didn't think this was going to be much of anything uh, this week, this visit here, that uh, the th thrift stores, you know, because, uh, uh, well, the thrift stores we have out in New York, well, they, they kind of suck donkey balls, okay? Let's be honest. But uh, hey, to my surprise, what a great bunch of thrift stores you guys got out here. These are great. Sorry, trying to watch the swearing, but you know. You can take the guy out of New York, but you can't take the New York out of the guy. Am I right? Uh, anyway, so yeah, a bunch of great stores. And I went to, uh, we even went to the record store, House of Records, right there in Eugene. Records, you know, they, they got a lot of records. They got some CDs, too. Got a bunch of CDs. Mainly just got CDs. I mean, look at this shit, huh? Look at that. I'm going to talk to you about all these CDs you got and a couple other things, too. But yeah, the record stores, I'm telling you, it's the House of Records, it's a small, tiny little store from, you look at it from the outside, but you go in there and they got so much in that store, it's just amazing. I, I fainted, I honestly, I fainted dead away, right there, on the floor. And yeah, got, got woken up when somebody tried to give me mouth-to-mouth mouth -mouth resuscitation, you know. And I'm talking real mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, not like they do in New York. You know how a New Yorker gives mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation? They stand over you and say... Get up before you f die. That's how they do it in New York. So anyway, uh, first, before I get to the CDs here, we're going to show you some of the stuff that uh, Tom got. Uh, actually, this was something the other day. His brother went out to the thrift store and got him. And I don't know if it was one of the thrift stores we went to yesterday, you know, thrift stores. But uh, it was one of them in town. Anyway, one of them reel-to-reel -reel tape things. Reel Reels. A reel of real, real tape. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Anyway, and uh, apparently it's got some uh, Nat King Cole and Frank Sinatra. Hey, Frankie, what can you say, huh? And got some other stuff on the back here. Billy Exton, or is it Eckstein? I can't f remember. Anyway, and uh, yeah, and Julius Watkins. Never heard of him, but anyway, hey. And of course, I don't have the reel to reel tape player and. and Oh, and neither does Tom because, you know, I, I, I'm I not Tom. I'm his identical twin cousin, Tony from New York. Yeah, so anyway, but yeah, neither one of us has a reel-to-reel -reel tape player. Uh, so, I don't know, this probably is going to make a nice little decoration or some shit, you know? Hey, what the hell? And Hey, I don't got no 8-tracks either, but hey, and, and I don't got an 8-track player, but, well, and neither does Tom because I'm not Tom, remember. Uh, but uh, hey, if I did, somebody did give me an 8-track, uh, cartridge. Hey, I, I'd show it on the <laughs> shelf or something. I don't know. And me a nice little collectible. Anyway, and I also got a book, but hey, uh, this is kind of related uh, to the subject matter at hand because the book has two CDs. How about that? Sh huh? Anyway, the book is We Interrupt This Broadcast. It's it's about, you know, old uh, famous news events that uh, happened uh, over the years, you know, uh, from uh, what did I say? Uh, from the Hindenburg to the death of Princess Diana. So, and the cool thing about the CDs is it's got all those events that they talk about in the book. The actual original broadcasts are on the CDs. You know, like the Hindenburg. Like, oh, the humanity. Yo, holy f The blimp's blowing up. You know, all that sh It's right here on the discs. Amazing, huh? Yeah, 
modern technology. Am I right? Anyway, so yeah, great, great stuff there. But now, hey, first of all, let me get a drink. Water. You got to have water, am I right? Forget about it. Life without water, forget about it. Anyway, let's take a look at the CDs here. Holy f what a bunch of f CDs, am I right? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I, I, the cursing I can't help, but hey. New York, am I right? Forget about it. Anyway, uh, all of these were from the thrift stores, the St. Vincent de Paul thrift stores. But there's one here from House of Records on the $1 CD shelf. Check this shit out, huh? Jerry Lee Lewis, Last Man Standing, his duets album from, uh, what was it, 2003 or something like that? No, I can't read it. It's too f dark. Uh, black text against the dark blue background. Who the f thought of that, huh? Anyway, you got Jimmy Page, you got B.B. King, Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Come on, Bruce Springsteen. New Jersey in the house, am I right? Shout out to my New Jersey friends, neighbors, huh? You got Mick Jagger, Ronnie Wood, Neil Young, John Fogarty, Keith Richards, Ringo Starr, Rod Stewart, Willie Nelson, Toby Keith, Little Richard, Buddy Guy, Don Henley, Chris Christopherson. Hey, the list goes on. Well, actually, it doesn't go on. It just, it, it ends, you know, what, 20 or something like that? Anyway, great collection, huh? Can't beat that shit. And, and for one dollar, a killer deal, huh? Killer, get it? You know, Jerry Lee Lewis is called the killer. Hey. Well, cooperate, CDs. Get the back up there. I'm telling you. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah, I kind of grouped these in the order. You know, it's, it's kind of, they're sort of related as you go on. Go from one subject, flow it into another, you know. Got to flow, nice and easy, ebb and flow, you know. Anyway, I'm just babbling for right now. Anyway, we're going to start out with some old stuff here. Hey, the Boswell Sisters. That old uh, close harmony girl group stuff from like the 30s and 40s. Hey. Yeah, kind of like the, the Andrew Sisters. Boswell Sisters, same kind of thing. And yeah, they just, they, they, they're just amazing, I got to tell you. Uh, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea is on here. This is it's kind of like a greatest hits collection, let's face it. And uh, I don't have, or Tom, that is, didn't have any Boswell sisters until now. So, and he's always kind of been wanting to hear them. So, there you go. And, oh, yeah, there was one song title on here that I thought was really funny. Um, the Sentimental Gentleman from Georgia. <laughs> Isn't that great? Uh, Minnie the Mooch's Wedding Day. Uh, Louisiana Hayride, Shuffle Off to Buffalo. That's on here, too. How's about that sh And, uh, yeah, good stuff. Oh, there's a song on here called If I Had a Million Dollars, but I don't think it's the Bare Naked Ladies version. Yeah, they wrote that just a few years after this one. Anyway, another uh, old-timey singer-songwriter, well, just singer, I think, uh, from but from much later than the Boswell Sisters, Teresa Brewer. Yeah, she was from like the 50s or something. Uh, music, music, music is the first song on there. Uh, you Send Me. Uh, Ricochet is another good song. But I don't think that's the... Oh, didn't somebody like Beyonce do a song called Ricochet? I don't remember. Anyway, probably not the same song. Then we got another one. Now, this one looked kind of interesting. Uh, Irving Berlin, his 100th anniversary celebration. Uh, you got Bing Crosby. You got your Linda Ronstadt. You got your Fred Astaire. You got your Tommy Dorsey uh, and your Teresa Brewer, huh? Right here. Ethel Merriman, the Andrew Sisters, I just talked about them. Duke Ellington, Bing Crosby, Kate Smith. Come on. Forget about it. Come on. Anyway, got something here. I always knew this guy was a composer. He did some movie scores, but I never know he did any albums or stuff. Michel Legrand. He's, and he's also been a conductor of orchestras and stuff. So, yeah, stuff. Uh, this is a lot of this stuff is Paris themed. Talk about the you know city of Paris and songs that uh, evoke the feeling of Paris. You know, cool stuff. Then we got a one of my favorite, well, one of Tom's favorites too. You know, Tom and I have almost identical musical tastes. Go figure, huh? Anyway, 
Uh, Johnny Mathis. Yeah, this was uh, a little backstory here. Johnny Mathis spent his whole career on Columbia Records. Well, has spent. He ain't dead yet, guys. He's still living and breathing and making music uh, on Columbia Records. But for a while, he was on, uh, what was it, Mercury Records. This is the stuff from his Mercury Records, uh, his, his tenure on Mercury Records. So, yeah, a two-CD box set. Pretty cool stuff. And, hey, Johnny Mathis, come on. And then here's a couple CDs. Uh, Tom had one or two CDs already from a few of these artists, and he wanted to kind of build on the collection. The Mavericks, they're kind of a Tex-Mex sort of country group. And he has uh, two disc greatest hits, but he's been trying to collect the studio albums. He just, he likes them so much, he wants the studio albums. So this is the third or fourth studio album he's got. So he's trying to fill in the gaps. And they had this one. And don't you love the cover of this CD? I mean, holy sh look at this cover. Just a great, you know, based on those old corny 50s uh, record covers, you know. Ain't that great? And then another one you might have, you might recall this uh, artist was in uh, a bargain bag earlier this year. All for one, an, an R&B group. Uh, he had their second album in the bargain bag. So this is their first album. So yeah, had to pick that one up, obviously. And I think this is the same story with this one. It was in a bargain bag earlier this year. Uh, Velvet Revolver, their first album, uh, Contraband, I think it was called. This is their second album, Libertad. Libertad. I don't know how you pronounce this. Anyway, he could he could not pick that up. Could he not? However, the hell you phrase that. Anyway, then we have uh, Tom already has one two disc live album from this guy. He inherited it from his sister, rest his soul. But uh, he found this uh, this one here. Then and it, all these CDs were a dollar each. Come on, one. Buck for a CD, come on. Paul, Paul McCartney, back in the U.S., his 2002 live concert album, two discs. Look at all them hits on it. Look at all of them hits, huh? How's about that? Some Beatles stuff, some solo stuff, some wing stuff. What more do you want? Anyway, I got another live album here, Genesis, The Way We Walk. Gotta love Genesis. Bill Collins, and the other guys. Anyway, this guy, Tom, is kind of on defense about He He kind of likes some of the, He likes his hits. He's got a, the guy's greatest hits album. But this one just looked a little too fun and intriguing not to get. Rod Stewart, Soul Book. And this one has, uh, you got your Stevie Wonder, you got your Mary J. Blige, Smokey Robinson, huh? And a Jennifer Hudson, come on. Ain't she the goat? Or since she's a female, would that be Gotess? I don't know what. Anyway, and it's got some great songs on here too. Uh, Your love keeps lifting me higher and higher. Uh, what becomes of the brokenhearted? Uh, you really got a hold on me. Wonderful world. That's a great one. And uh, it's the same old song. And just my imagination. So yeah, great songs. Uh, good singer. And good guest artist. What more do you want? And Tom's got a couple of things here. Uh, let's see. This next one, he's got all this guy's... Well, most of this guy's other albums up to a certain point. But he never had his first album. Well, his or their or however you want to say it. Fight for Fighting. Yeah, it's it's a, basically for most of Fight for Fighting's career, it's been a one-man show. John Andrasik is his name. But uh, yeah, this was the uh, first album before he hit it big with uh, the album America Town, I think is what it was called. So, yeah. And then he's got a couple of... He got, we got a few divas here. Give it up for the ladies, huh? Uh, this is one... He's had this one off and on once, maybe even twice, uh, but hasn't had it for a while. And there it was in the thrift store for a dollar. Excuse me. The thrift store for a dollar. Avril Lavigne. Her debut album, Let Go. Come on. You got Skater Boy. You got I'm With You. And what's the other one? Uh, complicated. Yeah. Come on, forget about it, come on. Anyway, uh, next one here. And he actually did not have any studio albums by this girl until now. Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation, eight, uh, 1984, 1814. Uh, just a few years off. Anyway, yeah, 
uh, what you got on here. Um, uh, Escapade, Miss You Much. Great stuff. Yeah, again, Tom's got her hits on one CD, but uh, yeah, decided to give her a try. And hey, for a buck, come on. One f simoleon. Each of these CDs, just one f simoleon. How can you beat it, right? Then we got Paula Abdul. Yay, Paula! And this is her dance remix album, Shut Up and Dance. So, yeah. yeah. Look at all that stuff on there, huh? Come on. Forget about it. Come on. Anyway. Uh, then we got... Uh, gotta take a drink here, sorry. I ain't making this video too long, am I? Uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys are entertained. Ain't I entertaining? Huh? Come on. Then we have some. Tom had this album a long, long time ago and decided to pick it up again, uh, mainly because it has the princess, whatever you call it, major diva of the 80s, Whitney Houston, with a song, One Moment in Time. We're talking the 1988 Summer Olympics album. Great stuff. And of course, Tom's number one film composer of all time, John Williams, did the theme for the Olympics, and that's on here too, even though I think he's got that on some other CD somewhere. But uh, yeah, Taylor Dane, and uh, Jermaine Jackson, eh. uh, the Four Tops and the Bee Gees, come on. And uh, then this one's going to be a little bit of a weird one, because uh, Tom actually has a couple of record albums, records, right there, the records, uh, from this guy. He inherited them from his sister, rest his soul, and brother-in-law. Uh, it's an electronic group called Synergy. And this is a Greatest Hits CD of their stuff. So, not sure if any of the songs songs on here are on either of the two records he got, but hey. What the heck? You, you gotta have more Synergy, right? Synergy in its real meaning, and Synergy as in the music group. That was a stupid joke, wasn't it? That joke sucked donkey p didn't it? Anyway, and then Tom, uh, Tom's talked about this guy. Or excuse me, he's talked about this guy uh, for a while. He can be hit or miss with Tom on some of his albums, uh, but he decided to pick up a couple more. Uh, he's been getting more and more into him as the years and months have gone on. Harry Connick Jr., uh, his album Star Title, Star Title, and uh, Come By Me. There we go. Not buy as in with money. It's buy as in near, you know. And so, yeah. I'm going to give those a try and see if he can get any more into Harry Connick Jr. Uh, yeah, by now, Tom's got to have almost half of Harry's discography. Maybe even more by now. Now, this one, Tom ain't never heard of, and neither have I, because we're two different people. Uh, but he decided, his, the curiosity got the better of him, and he decided to pick it up. They're called End Motion. This was from the early 90s, 1992. And I you know it's probably some kind of dance pop group. Couldn't find any information, at least not, you know, on his phone right there in the store, uh, on the internet anywhere. So, so it's going to be interesting finding out what that's like, isn't it? And then had a few CDs here that were actually still sealed up in their plastic. And they're misbehaving. They're not staying put. Uh, so, uh, first one here that was still sealed, Courtyard Hounds. Uh, these are the, the two ladies that were uh, part of the, the Dixie Chicks, or the Chicks now. Uh, Emily Robison, Robison and Marty McGuire, is that them? Anyway, that's, they, they co-produced the album. I don't know if that's them or if that's two other people. Anyway, this is their second album. Tom actually inherited their first album, first album from his sister, Rest of Soul. So, there we go. And still sealed for one dollar. How can you beat it? And this guy Tom has gone on on and on about this guy. I tell you, he's yeah. You you watched any of his videos? You hate him. He goes on and on about this guy, Matt Waits. And uh, yeah, this is uh, an album of his that Tom didn't have. He's uh, got what three or four, and this may be the fourth or fifth album he's got of his. It's called Heat Wave. So figured, hey. Give it a try. Ain't heard it before, so there you go. And then uh, this one, Tom's pretty sure he saw this one uh, in on the racks last time he was at the store two months ago, but he passed it up thinking it was just the one-disc, regular one-disc version. 
and it's the two disc Corinne Bailey Ray her debut f album right here yeah and it's got the disc two it's got uh, one remix or actually two remixes and six other songs on it so yeah there you go still sealed still <laughs> sealed how could you beat that forget about it anyway hey she, and she's a great she, she's a great vocalist isn't she she sings her ass off, doesn't she? Anyway, and then uh, this here's another artist, and Tom's thinking about doing a video about this uh, sometime soon. Artists that he used to have their studio albums and just uh, likes them a little bit less, so he just he's converted to the greatest hits. This is one artist that belongs in there, no doubt. Yeah, he used to have uh, three or four of their albums, just kind of, eh, and has decided that the hits are enough. So. Yeah, you got you got your Jester Girl, you got your Hey Baby, you got your Sunday Morning, you got your Hella Good on here, uh, underneath it all, as uh, uh, yeah, simple kind of life. Don't speak, ex girlfriend. Come on. And then uh, the last, yeah, I guess this is the last CD here in the whole bunch. It ain't sealed, but it's it's a greatest hits album, kind of like the No Doubt. See, I was trying to flow things together here. You know, give me some credit, huh? Here we got Moby. This is his greatest hits album, Swungs, from uh, 1983 to 1998. Uh, Tom's got one or two of Moby's studio albums, but they actually, and he thinks they actually might be after this anyway. So, uh, with luck, there ain't no repeating in uh, his the Moby discography that he now has. So, there you go. So, yeah, Tom's not very familiar with Moby. And neither am I, because remember, we're two separate people. But uh, yeah, he decided to give him a try. What the hell, right? What the f***? I mean, come on. Anyway, how do you like that, huh? Hey, behave yourselves. So there you go. That was Tom's and my thrift store CD haul for August 2022. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if so, hit that like button and share with your friends. Huh? And give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comments section below. Huh? Also, scroll down to the description for the link to Tom's Twitter and Instagram feeds and links to his favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to his channel if you ain't done that yet and browse his past videos and be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time he drops a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for having me as a guest on the show here. I'll see you, or Tom will see you next time, because we're two separate people, remember. And remember, life's too short to be a music snob. See ya!